Hey everybody, welcome back to another design weekly video. And today we are gonna make something like this. Uh, this is a material design button and we can interact with it by clicking anywhere on the button. So if I click to the left, there's a left uh, ripple which flows in. If I click on the center, there's a ripple that flows in from the center. And if I click on the right, there's a ripple that flows in from the right. Now, technically, there is no way to detect uh, the clicks um, here individually on the screen in Adobe XD, but we're gonna, you know, always find a way. And these are the artboards. I will be linking down the, um, the file, the Adobe XD file down in the description, so do check that out. And you can use it to the fullest. I have no problems with you guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, let me create a quick artboard, uh, just a, little artboard uh, I want to be uh, let me just copy this over and just remove this button oops oops okay yeah so here we will be placing a rectangle which will uh, re uh, you know be our button and just place that in the center cool 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 and let's just give it a you know any color that we want for right now you can obviously change it according to whatever you like uh, give it a bit of radius and a bit of shadow to give it depth. That's it. That's your button. You can uh, say anything. Say click. I don't know. <laughs> yep. Click. Yeah, so I'll be using Roboto font, medium, and that is how you make a quick button uh, in Adobe XD. Perfect. Now, obviously, we have to detect where the click has been made. So I will make three squares here or uh, rectangles, whatever you want to call them. And one, two, and three. Perfectly placed over the button. And I'll make sure that the opacity is zero. So you can't really see these, but they're there. Um, these will mark our clicks, left, center, right. Perfect. And we will be making uh, three circles now. Quickly just draw up three circles. Here you go. And just duplicate them. Just say, uh, select them and Command D, Command D, um, or Control D. And you, as you see, these have been duplicated. Now we will carefully place them here. Remove the borders for each of them. Yep. And uh, give them an opacity of 20%. Yep. This, this, or uh, let me just increase this to 40%. Now this gives the ripple effect uh, as the size will increase something like this. It'll give it a ripple effect. Let me just fix that up. Yep. Perfect. That's how it's done. And uh, we'll place that circle here. Just bring it back to where it was and give it opacity of zero. Place this one in the center, give it opacity of zero. Place the third one on the right, uh, similar to what you placed on the left. Uh, yep, and give this opacity of zero again. Now we will duplicate this artboard three more times. One, two, three. And that will kind of replicate, I'm just adjusting my mics, I'm sorry. Uh, that will kind of, you know, show for each circle. Yeah, so in the first one, we will in increase the opacity of the circle to 40 and just drag from the right anchor point and hold shift so that it increases uh, in ratio as well. And that's it, that is what we had to do. On the second one, we will go ahead and say uh, 20, uh, sorry, 40% and we will increase the height of this by dragging top and bottom this and also the bottom we will do it like this perfect and on the right circle we will do the same as what we did on the left circle but obviously in the opposite direction okay that's it perfect now we have the final results all we have to do is activate uh, the squares. So this is the left panel, left side of the button. And 
if I drag this to the first one, uh, tap, auto animate, auto animate just animates the state of one element to another and uh, ease out, perfect, and I'll give it about 0.3 seconds, that's already set for me, and I'll do the same with the center square, perfect, everything is already set, and with the third square as well, we will do the same, perfect, that is absolutely perfect, everything is ready, one more thing that we need to do is quickly, uh, from this Select the whole artboard, the first artboard, and drag it back so that the ripple effect goes after a couple of seconds. So you can click on it again. Rather than tap, we will say time trigger and give it about 0.3 seconds delay. Uh, and rather than auto animate, we'll say transition, dissolve, ease out, and give it about 0.3 seconds as well. Yeah. We have to do the same exact thing with all of these. It's already set, so Adobe XD basically uh, saves all my presets which I just used and that's, that makes the whole process faster. Now I'm going to click on this and let's see the magic happen. If I click on the left side, perfect. Click on the center, perfect ripple effect. If I click on the right, perfect ripple effect. Uh, so that was how you create a quick ripple effect button, which is the material design button. Um, I will be linking the uh, the real the the original button uh, styling in the in the description below, so that you can just check it out and start off designing. And also, if you like this video, hit the like button, right? And also below that, you will find the subscribe button. Just go ahead and tap that. And um, after you've clicked on the subscribe, just quickly click on the bell icon and that will enable you to join the designers club. So every time I post something new, you'll be able to see that immediately before everybody else. So go ahead and click that bell icon, subscribe button and uh, the thumbs up icon and uh, support the channel. Keep watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.